part of this crowd had left to go upstairs and watch the match from above. As they feel, as they sense the end coming, they're bleeding right back into the arena. Uh, they want to be as close as possible to this man when the moment of exultation comes. There are some people watching from that great berth upstairs. Thank you, Rack 20. On the Alcano to break. We've got standing room only here. Six. That balcony gives a good shot of both table one and table two. Well, the break has been this man's friend all day long. It looks like it will be again. And that's the first time I think he's landed dead straight for that one into the low left corner pocket. But he's, it's perfect for shape onto the red three. This nine ball can look like a pretty simple game when you're breaking like this. What do you think about that six nine combination, Bob? Well, if he gets straight up on the five rolls here, could be on. He could take it on. Right now, it looks like just a simple follow and then a stop shot on the five. Automatic shape. Yeah, I believe that's his option. That way, he doesn't have to force the cue ball off of the five. That's what he's setting up for. And you can hear the Hello buzz down, in the please. crowd. They know what's coming up. We'd like to keep the cue ball off the rail. No problem. Welcome back. Ronnie Alcano in his seat right now, but he's sitting pretty because Ralph Suke has got a long way back from 14 6 at the moment. He's eight racks behind. He's at the table. He got three balls off the break and he's just put the two ball in. Let's return to our commentary team. Stunned it. Yeah, I think he's decided it's time to unleash everything I've got. Let's, let's go aggressive. The defensive route has not paid off for him. I'll tell you what. That was obvious there in, in he, the, how quickly he decided to go for that. Yeah. As if I wouldn't say throw caution to the wind, but just try and let himself go a bit more, just to play with a bit more natural fluency and let his, his, his undoubted talent do the work for him. Yeah. Well, if he's going to win, he's got to make things happen. That's how you do it, man. Being a little. Going out on the edge a bit. <coughs> he shakes his head at that one. Gonna have to go back and forth on this one. Needs to avoid that scratch on the right side pocket, doesn't he? He should be okay. I would think he would take that scratch completely out of the equation. I mean, the way things are rolling, mm -hmm. you don't <laughs> tempt that side pocket. Maybe just take that white along the headstring. Yeah. Settle for the longer shot. Boy, this is a long bridge. This is a and, very long bridge. And it's a clumsy, clumsy cueing. Angle, not um, left-handed. Oh no! No, he's Yuck. not going to play that. No, <laughs> he heard us. It's not a left-handed cue. Surprised he hasn't reached is. for the rest. Look how long that bridge. He's got to go with the rest. The, the only player. <laughs> wow! Look at that. And how how often have we seen Ralph Suke bang a cube of chalk on the table? I I don't think I've seen him show that kind of emotion ever on a table. No. 
And I think no player wants to use a rest in a position like this, unless maybe it was Jimmy White. No. Left well, hand. you don't want to be playing this shot off-handed either. Oh, with spin as well. He's playing with. He's playing it with inside spin. Oh, what a great oh, what shot. A shot. What a shot. <laughs> well, Ronnie O'Sullivan, we know, is a superb exponent of ambidextrous play, but that was a quality strike as well from Ralph. Well, a small ray of sunshine for Suke. But he needs a lot more warmth than that. Heavily behind now. He trails 14 to 7 in a race to 17. Welcome back to Manila. The record book shows that the Philippines has 27 world champions. And we are maybe looking at number 28 here, of course. Efren Reyes has been a world champion in nine ball pool, so too Alex Palagalayan. But could we see Ronnie Alcano join to that list? He's about to break off and he's looking in a very dominating position at the moment. Let's rejoin our commentary team. Ooh, Whoa. boy, he barely missed that side pocket. He was really teasing at this, one of the more difficult openings that Alcano has presented himself with. But Bobby's got a, a two way the way this table setting up. He's got a two way shot. He can go for the one ball in the corner and get shape on the two. And if he doesn't get shape, if he doesn't make it, he's got a safety. So. Well, he just has to dig in and slide this white ball over to that lower right hand part of the table. He's got to just, play this very delicately. Yeah. It would seem to to avoid hiding behind the four and three. Oh, the bank shot. It's the second time he's come up a bit wrong on that bank shot, but he didn't take long in deciding that was the correct play. But once again, clever play, yeah. like an element of safety, yeah. you know, that perhaps, well, I wouldn't have seen. I would have thought it was risky, but... Played it pro side. Yeah, that's the key to play those banks with the right pace so that you don't leave your opponent with the ball over a over a hole. Yeah, if he, if he had missed that on the short rail, much bigger chance of uh, him selling out there. Now, does Ralph have the confidence in his arm? To pull this off because he he also has a bit of a two-way shot here he can well no I, to be honest with you in this situation I don't know what to advise this man use the six as a blocker it's yeah. tough he could line up the six seven and one but, but the cue ball the, the one's gonna go towards the corner I've decided to play thin and he's not got yes he has, yes, he has. just about got behind there <laughs> that's a tough jump shot how good a jumper is Alcano, Bob? I don't think he's quite at the level of the Yang Ching Shun, but I don't think anybody is. No. But uh, <coughs> Ronnie does jump. The other pro problem with this possibly the four ball is hampering his bridging position. Well, he's got good space. Has he got enough put to there. put his hand in the in the right place there for that four ball? Yeah, but I was talking about the space between the, ah. the cue ball and the five. He's got enough room to get over it. <laughs> And he's tall enough to be able to reach the cue ball without too much effort. And he's got the short cue in his hand, so that's his option. Going to try and hit this full in the face, you would imagine. Yeah. Didn't really get enough power into that. Come up short. <laughs> but boy, Ralph, if Ralph is going to get shape on the blue two, he's going to have to do it with a pretty nice shot here. It's very awkward. See the cue ball there with backspin and slowing down as he got closer to the one. If he uses the nine ball to stop the cue ball, he creates trouble for himself later in the rack. What we don't know. 
I don't think he'd be potting it into this corner. Certainly be going into the centre. Well, I think he would be. But we don't know what part of the nine ball he's likely to go into. If he goes into, as we look on our screens, the left-hand side of the nine ball, it wouldn't be too good. If he could hit the middle of the nine ball, it wouldn't be too bad. Yuck. Oh, he's behind the four. Always risky. He's got the right-hand side of the nine. Just sneaked away from him. He's certainly still got control of the table. There is the possibility of a bank with safety insurance. I'm he, not sure he can get to the bank. Well, I was thinking he might be able to cut this blue to him, but then there's absolutely a, a, a myriad of problems around the table as the cue ball would whiz all over the place. I don't think he can see that side of the ball, Steve. I could be wrong. And it's hard to tell from that shot whether he can see that side of the ball. It's close. I think I think he can bank it. It's just I think he can bank it and play a containing shot, take the perhaps, two up. But perhaps uh, perhaps the safety behind the nines, a more sort of more guaranteed way of going about the rack. Why why risk the bank and leave your opponent the chance to play a good safety even if you do stop him from running the rack? No. What's this look? Looks like he's trying to get behind the nine here, I think. A bit shorter pace again. No, oh, he's not. Short oh, he's pace. sold it out. Well, I think he's uh, going to be some sort of shot for Alcana to get back on this three. But it's not that. He didn't get a good safety. You've got to make your opponent work for every chance. Alcano once again will have to really show us a shot, but well, he, he does. doesn't seem to have a problem doing that. Well, Alcano doesn't have to doesn't have to play the pot here no. at all. He can go. He can hide behind the six. Yeah. Should he want to? Well, if, if enough of it's poked out, he, he could he's, play a power he's shot. He's digging down into that ball. Oh, it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Still got to be. He's got to be hit accurately though. Oh, that was. But, Watch out. But, I, and it's a big but. I'm gonna quit. Why didn't he follow that off the single rail and take the, take the three low right? Could he have, was that shot on? No. With the right hand, no? No, he's on the wrong side of him. I reckon he's gonna try and kick at this. Yeah. Well, he hit that about as well as he could have expected. And he's nowhere on the three, so perhaps the wrong shot, perhaps the safety was much better policy in that situation. Could it be the first signs of trying to overreach for the finishing line? Well, we see that happen a lot as you get closer to the end. You get more and more eager to finish it off and sometimes you just get ahead of yourself. Now this three looks frozen to that rail which would I would think would make the kick a bit more difficult if you want to kick it in. He's trying to check the ball with English. He's come up under shot. the nine. Not a bad result. So, do you know? Do you know? When you try, when you play escapes at Paul, mm -hmm. the pace you play the escape at is oh so important. Years of experience of playing in clubs, playing for your, you know, your, li your livelihood, whether right. in competitions or for money, has taught Rene Alcardo that okay. If he miss hits the shot and doesn't get it right, the pace of the shot then becomes important. And all of a sudden, three ball goes to the side of rail, causes rail suke a problem. Right. If he hits it right, makes the ball anyway. Yeah. Now this looks uh, <laughs> similar to the Hill Hill match from last night. I was going to say he's setting up yeah. a sim situation similar to what he faced yesterday. And he won that little exchange with a beautiful shot. He being Suke. Oh, what's that behind the nine? Didn't get there. Nope. 
close but no cigar.